வெல்கம் டு ரோகிணி காலேஜ் ஆஃப் இன்ஜினியரிங் அண்ட் டெக்னாலஜி ஐ ஆம்ஜி அசோசியேட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் இசிஇ டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் ரேடியேஷன் மெக்கானிசம் ஆஃப் அப்பேச்சர் ஆண்டனா ஃப்ரம் தேட் ரேடியேஷன் மெக்கானிசம் ஆஃப் அப்பேச்சர் ஆண்டனா ஆன் கம்ப்ளீஷன் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வில் பி ஏபிள் டு டிஃபைன் ஹார்ன் ஆண்டனா கெயின் பேண்ட் வித் டேரக்டிவிட்டி ஆஃப் ஹார்ன் ஆண்டனா வாட் இஸ் ஏ ஹார்ன் ஆண்டனா ஹார்ன் ஆண்டனா இஸ் ஏ மைக்ரோவேவ் ஆண்டனா இட் இஸ் யூஸ்ட் அஸ் அ ஃபீட் எலமெண்ட் ஃபார் ரேடியோ அஸ்ட்ரானமி சேட்டலைட் ட்ராக்கிங் அண்ட் கம்யூனிகேஷன் டிஸ் டிஷஸ் இட் இஸ் யூஸ்ட் அஸ் ஃபீட் ஃபார் ரிஃப்ளெக்டர் அண்ட் லென்சஸ் இட் இஸ் அ காமன் எலமெண்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபேஸ்டர் அண்ட் சர்வ் அஸ் தி யூனிவர்சல் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் கேலிபிரேஷன் அண்ட் கெயின் மெஷர்மெண்ட் ஆன் ஹை கெயின் ஆண்டனா இட் இஸ் applicable system from its simplicity in construction ease of excitation versatility large gain and overall performance horn antenna are regarded as flared out or open out waveguide function of horn is to produce uniform face front with a large aperture than the waveguide and hence greater directivity Jagadish Chandra Bose constructed a pyramidal horn antenna in the year 1897. Horn antenna or can be a rectangular or circular or antennaized from waveguide. To minimize the reflection of the guided wave, the transition region or horn antenna of the waveguide at the throat and free space at an aperture would be a gradual exponential layer. Assuming that the rectangular waveguide is generated in TE10 mode, with flared out in the perpendic plane perpendicular to e this is the plane of magnetic field h hence this type of horn is called sectoral horn or simply h plane sectoral horn here you can see the different types of rectangular horn sector exponentially tapered pyramid sectoral h plane sectoral e plane and h the horn is flared out in the plane of electric field hence it is e plane sectoral horn a rectangular call with flare on both side is called as pyramidal horn when excited with the circular wave get carry t11 wave the electric field distribution aperture is given by arrows figure one should by conical con t1 by conical and is excited the tm mode by a vertical radiator t10 by conical and is excited the t01 mode by a small horizontal loop by conical antennas are non directive in the horizontal plane here we can see some type of circular horn antenna exponential tapered tm biconical conical and tm biconical horn antenna design principle the principle of equality fermat principle is applicable to horn antenna instead of requiring a constant phase across the horn mode the requirement is related to one where the phase may deviate but less than specified amount del or the path difference between the ray traveling along the side design parameter e plane del e is the flare angle and ae is the aperture dimension for h plane del h is the flare angle and h is the aperture dimension l is the horn length del is the path difference pyramidal horn antenna cross section with the here we can see the different type of horn antenna design principle horn antenna cos theta by 2 l by l plus del sin theta by 2 a by 2 into l plus del a by 2 plus del tan theta by 2 is equal to a by 2 l plus del l plus a by 2 l so the total value of l will be a square by a del so theta equal to 2 inverse of a inverse a by 2 l equal to theta cos inverse l by del so let us consider the horn antenna design so the design will be length angle theta in sectoral horn del is less than 0.25 lambda for h1 del equal to 0.4 lambda to obtain the uniform and aperture distribution a very horn and a small flare angle is required del let del be sufficiently small fraction of the field are nearly uniform face over the entire aperture for a constant length l the directivity of horn increases bandwidth however if the aperture and flare angle are so large so del equal to 180 degree the field at the edge of the aperture is in phase opposition to the field and the axis for all but very flat angle so it is nearly unity and hence the additional path on distribution of magnetic field however del equal to 180 degree the phase reverse of the edges of the aperture reduces the directivity so the op- uh, optimal horn dimension is equal to 1 by theta l by theta by l which is equal to l optimum so l is equal to del not cos theta by 2 1 minus cos theta by 2 rectangular horn antenna refer to the field you can see the e plane cross section and h plane cross section with theta e and total flare angle h plane is theta h the axial length of the horn from the throat of the aperture and radial length r here you can see the different types of uh, e plane and h plane field pattern of rectangular horn as the function of flare angle and horn length 
patterns measured by road donald road are shown in figure the pattern of e and h plane combined with r but the both sets are flare angle of 120 degree it is measured that for horn with r equal 8 lambda as compared to the function of flare angle rectangular horn theta equal to 50 degree the e plane split and the edge is figure e plane is not this is because given phase shift at the aperture is the e plane horn for more effective on the pattern hence h plane horn the field goes zero at the edges according to the expected that delta here i have h plane is larger than e plane the optimum dimension indicated by the solid line in the following figure the corresponding half power beam width and aperture are also indicated so shigar shows the horn length and with a different phase angle Horn dimension del naught equal zero point five lambda and del naught equal zero point four lambda. The total tolerance in path length is greater than h plane floor than the e plane. For the design, directed d is equal four pi a e by lambda square and we substitute the value of a e so will two by so a b a p by lambda square. So d is equal to seven point five a p by lambda square is equal to ten log seven point five a p by lambda square. In d b you have to substitute d equal to ten log seven point five a e lambda a h lambda. So design determine the length L or the flare and H and flare angle theta E and theta H for the pyramidal horn antenna. The horn is fed by the rectangular wave by T one zero meter. Let zero be zero point lambda E plane zero point H plane. What are the beam width and direction? So you know the formula for length L square by eight del. So it is zero six two point. Theta E is equal to two tan inverse E by two L. Substitute the value. You will get the remaining value. And you have to find out the value of theta H, E, half power beam width and directivity. Similarly for conical horn, the value of del and the l, l by theta by two, del not cos theta by two into one minus cos theta by two. Half power beam width equal to sixty by a e del and half power h plane equal to seventy by a h. Conical horn, by conical horn or pattern, they are non-directional in the horizontal plane. These horns may be regarded as modified pyramidal horn with three sixty degree. The optimal vertical flare angle is same as the sectorial horn. A horn and now may be considered as what types of horn. So thank you. These are about the. Horn antenna, aperture 